Hey, welcome back to Bishop Repair Shop. We're on the scene. We're here with uh, Logan Dornbush and his beautiful, I'll call this an Oliver. It's it's still Oliver, right? Right? Yeah, That's pretty right. much Oliver, but it's got a little bit different of a powertrain. A little different touch. I think the only actual Oliver parts are like here to here. And then the rest is not quite so much Oliver. No. So, so um, you had some uh, headaches this last week. Talk a little bit about what's been going on. So we had some wiring issues mm -hmm. and we ended up having a catastrophic failure with the injector hat. We fired it on an open cylinder and blew it all the way back to the system. And we ended up able to piece that back together, got that all figured out before tonight. So, see if we can make a run. So is your class actually running tonight or is it just you're making no, an exhibition No, so this pass? is just an exhibition. Hub. Okay. That's what we're gonna do but it's the hometown pole, so. Exactly. You gotta show up for the home. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love the decals on the sides. That is, that is cool. All right, so we were talking about, before I started filming, because this is like probably been talking for like a half hour about this day, then I realized I should be filming. We're talking about the rear end. So you're saying it's a truck rear end case. Yep, yep. truck case. It's narrowed down, shortened. Not quite sure what he put in there for gear. So mm -hmm. that's, that's one of the things that, I mean, my brother would know because he dealt with the whole thing with him, but. Yeah. And so this is your safety. Yep, this that is goes. The safety. So zip ties are on there, so it don't rattle out. Mm -hmm. And then these pins, when it comes down, these pins ground itself out, okay. and that'll shut down the whole system. Okay, that shuts down everything. Yep. For when bad things happen in this area, yep. then that happens. Exactly. And is that still, and there's still, the, the sled operator also has a switch where he can pull it, and it'll yep. yank so it back. so he has a winch hooked up to this, and I mean, if he has to shut us down, he hits a winch, pulls it out, but if we break free from the sled, then- It'll pull itself automatically. It'll yank out yep. no All right, you can see, uh, just a little bit bigger than stock calipers on these things. My gosh. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, and it was a headache to put in there. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of, um, um, it's the great color because that's the color of money because that is definitely <laughs> not something cheap. Now, you guys started with a, um, you guys started with a chassis last year with the motor, correct? Yep. We had a chassis from Nebraska okay. last year. And we ran that, kind of got a feel for the motor, kind of got dialed into where we thought it needed to be. And mm -hmm. Then we always had the idea of pulling that motor off, putting it on a different chassis. Yep. So once we pulled that motor off and we ordered this chassis from up in Michigan, and it just came bare bones, no wheels, no nothing. It was just the main frame is all we had to work with. Okay. Everything we learned last year, it all went right out the window. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks... Was, it's a whole different ball game. We have a new injection system on it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that for the guys, obviously. So this is for those playing around at home. This originally would have been in a World War II aircraft, correct? Yep, P or a P-51 Mustang. Yep, which if anyone remembers way back on the podcast, I talked to a pilot of a P-51 Mustang yep. and told him how I'm really glad of those things because it helps out this sport. Um, <laughs> and uh, how now these are kind of... There's not a lot of them left out there, and there's not a lot of guys that run them still, correct? So there's not a lot of guys that run them, but like overseas, they are still very mm -hmm. popular, and you can still get a lot of parts overseas. I know I'm friends with quite a few people on Facebook who got them over there, but around here, I think there's probably five to ten people That's still who, run them. who yep. still run them. So. So parts are still available. It's just a matter of a lot of times you're paying that overseas shipping. And exactly. I'm sure right now has been just fun for getting anything yeah coming on the slow boat over everything is a pain so okay we got to ask how much uh is obviously your fuel tanks here on the side yep. on a normal pass how much fuel are going to be going through uh so it's got it holds about 11 to 12 gallons okay whenever it gets to the end if you look if we got a little indicator mm -hmm. it'll be up above that 11 mark you won't even be able to see it at the end of oh, the Oh, jeez, yeah. It'll burn through the whole 11, 12 gallon. Now are these like, we run alcohol in some of our smaller engines and they burn more at idle. It seems like they're like, is it the same kind of a setup on this where at idle it's just pretty much dumping fuel in on your on your injection system or is it pretty well uh, kinda, tamed down? I mean, once you really open it up, that's whenever the whole thing opens up and during idle, it's got a fuel return. Okay, it returns like a high speed return. return? Yep. Okay. But whenever it opens up, it's, it's pouring the fuel to it. Yep. And so here's your mechanical fuel pump system here that I'm, well, I'm this assuming is yes the, uh magnetos okay these are the geez i'm way off sorry right. folks no, i'm just pointing at things like that looks like <laughs> that it says fuel on it it says that's something on the side so that's your mags and obviously because if anyone knows anything about these allisons there's a 3000 um spark plugs yep. so doing a spark plug change on this as you can see there's spark plugs out here you run down here and up here then you got two rows inside then you got one on the other side Jeez. so uh the ones on the outsides are simple yeah those are easy to change but the ones on the inside are the 
aren't those no are no yeah. and how often is that uh every run you got to pull those out and check them or is it every if it runs good you're fine um if it runs good usually we leave them probably every three runs we'll pull them out we'll make sure they still look good and if we need to change one or something then we'll swap it over but so far we haven't had to do any major repairs through that side that of side it. of things yeah and over the winter did you, did you like what did you engine wise to this versus what it was last time you said you had a whole new injection system so what's kind of what's different there on that so we pulled the valve covers off over winter we went through the valves mm -hmm. we readjusted the valves we built an engine stand for it because you can't put this on a regular engine stand what <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little big <laughs> flipped it over we went through the bottom made sure through the bottom end make sure that was all good but that was about as far as we got into it because it still ran pretty decent last year mm -hmm. but we ended up switching to a different injection system because we thought ours last year wasn't the greatest uh-huh and i'm still not sold on this one but <laughs> it's, it, it's, 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 it's getting there <laughs> it's getting there it's yeah. very finicky very touchy mm -hmm. it's slowly getting there we'll put it that way yeah so you got the rest of this season, or you're, we're almost, we are we're kind almost, of at the tail end of it, correct? Yeah, we are almost done with this season. Okay. We should have had a few more poles under our belt, but after our catastrophic failure, which mm -hmm. that's going to get the, fixed the right way this winter. Yeah. Just kind of a... Hold, see, make sure it holds. Keep going. Mm -hmm. See if we can get the engine fine-tuned before we mess with that anymore, yeah. but... Sweet. All right, well, we'll hope to see you out there. I'll show you. You'll see all the runs coming up here a little bit later, and then we'll probably come back and see if anything. You're hopefully making one for sure, possibly, if it's cooled down enough, maybe two. We're making one for sure, and if we can cool it down enough, then we'll try it again, but it's kind of hot out. Yeah, there. it is a little It's a little toasty out here. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. I can see that. All right, thanks for hanging out, Logan. We'll, uh, we'll catch you a little later. All right. Hey, so wrapping up the video with the Dornbush's uh, pulling tractor. As you can see in the videos, that we had there was a little bit of an issue. Talked to him after the poll and didn't get a chance to video it just because it was late. And, you know, I didn't want to throw a camera in their face right after what happened. So basically, after talking to Austin, which is uh, Logan's brother who you heard earlier in the video, um, hooked up really well. Actually hooked up the best that's hooked up all year long. And they were... It hooked up really well. There was a little light on the front. It went to the sky, and instead, he said, as soon as it went up, you know, and you know, what are you gonna do? There's, of course, guys online have been telling him, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. But guess what? When you're behind the wheel of that thing, so he got off the throttle, tried to keep his hand from back on the throttle and keep his head from bouncing off the cage. Um, it came down pretty hard. It broke. Um, the front axle is basically the only thing. They said they replaced the mags, and I don't know if or where have the mags. Um, pulled off and I don't know I have a chance to talk to them if that was due to something happened during that pole and it came you know maybe getting come off throttle or if it was just they wanted to get them addressed anyway so anyway we'll hopefully see that again I'm gonna try um, Memorial Day weekend they're gonna be out or Labor Day weekend I can't think of the dates um in Pawpaw they said day two but I'll figure out what day they're pulling I have a pull that day too so we'll find out but I'd like to see it again hopefully at least one more time this year and hopefully get a good hook out of it so thanks for watching like and subscribe um and i'll put a link to dornbush motorsports down in the description make sure to check that out that's where they put all their stuff that they're pulling 
And uh, for that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.